sporting complex in the city of Leningrad, here for one of the most important events of the year, the 1990 European Figure Skating Championships. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Vern Lundquist, and welcome to our continuing coverage of the European Figure Skating Championship. Today, we feature the Pairs Competition, an event dominated by the Soviets for the past quarter of a century. As a matter of fact, Pairs from the Soviet Union have won every Olympic gold medal since 1964. Here in Leningrad, same story, domination by the USSR. Our expert analyst, Scott Hamilton. Scott, why is this the case? Why are the Soviets so good in Pairs? Well, the pair skating and the ice dancing in the Soviet Union are it. They're glamour sports. And when you look back in the 25 years they've dominated those events, you'll see that they haven't had the same success in the singles competition. They've never won a gold medal in the Olympics in either the men's or the ladies' competitions. Look ahead to Albertville. Well, it's conceivable that the pairs of the Soviet Union could sweep the medals. They're the best. And when you're the best, who do you compete against? Yourself. The Soviet Union is split into two rival camps, the Leningrad camp and the Moscow camp, and bitter rivals they are. And when you're talking to anyone around here, the rivalry doesn't stop at skating. We uh, consider ourselves to be, uh, to have the tradition of our belly, of our musical life, of our cultural, cultural tradition. Uh, we consider, uh, Leningradians consider themselves to be more intelligent, more uh, aristocratic, as we can say. And uh, in this belief, we walk, uh, and uh, try to win. <laughs> Natalia Chanak and Arthur Dmitriev, bronze medalists in last year's European Championships, live and train in Leningrad. Together with their coach, they personify the passionate nature of the rivalry between the skating centers of the Soviet Union, Leningrad and Moscow. The capital city is represented by the splendid pair of Ekaterina Gordieva and Sergei Grinkov. Olympic champions in 1988, world champions in 89. Oleg Vasiliev and Elena Balova were the last residents of Leningrad to win the European, the Olympics, and the world titles. A feat Natalia and Artur now hope to equal. This skating soap opera actually has three acts. Igor Moskvin has been Tamara's husband for 25 years and is the coach of the third Soviet team. The married couple of Larisa Selesneda and Oleg Makarov, also residents of Leningrad, and perennial silver medalists, Zagordieva and Grinkov. Natalia and Arthur skated brilliantly in the short program. They captured the fancy of the crowd and earned the respect of the judges. In contrast, the favorites, Katya Gordieva and Sergei Grinkov, skated poorly. They made two unexpected mistakes and finished a bitterly disappointing third. Natalia and Artur were in first place after the short program, poised to bring the title home to Leningrad. It would be a breakthrough championship for them, one of many their coach Tamara Moskvina is convinced they will earn. I see them to be world and Olympic champions. Uh, and I will do everything to help them to do it. Uh, so I s already see them on the rostrum, on the podium. But when it happened, I, I don't know, but it should happen soon. <laughs> Here's the way they stood after the original program. First, second and third, all Soviet pairs. Now for the free skate. Here's the way Scott and I called it. The start. Now on the ice in first place after a superb original program, 19-year-old Natalia Mishkutyonek and 22-year-old Artur Dmitriev. They've been skating together for four years. Natalia and Artur are a very young pair. They came up really fast. They've had a lot of trouble with consistency in the past, but they do some very innovative moves. Their opening move is side-by-side -side triple toe loops. 
she and she under rotated hers and couldn't hang on to the landing. Now, how will that affect their score? Well, if they want to have any hope of beating Gordieva and Grinkoff, they can't make any more mistakes. Beautifully done, triple twist. A throw triple toe loop. She just did one on her own. Now she's being thrown into the air, and she just stepped out of it. idea of the depth of this Soviet pairs team. Natalia and Artur had to survive a skate-off just to qualify for the European Championships. Throw triple sow cow and she nails it. Natalia is very flexible, and Tamara Moscovina, their coach, uses her flexibility in a lot of their moves. Now watch the next two tricks they do. They're unique only to them. after the short program, Mishku Jonak and Dmitriev had a shaky start, but they seemed to have rallied. Well, they recovered really well. They had that missed triple toe loop in the beginning, and then there's another step out. But anytime you leave the door open for Gordiev and Grinkov, they're going to slam it in your face. They're a young team, and they got a lot of promise. They were third in last year's European Championships. They had hopes of a higher honor this time around. So did their coach, Tamara Mospina. But the shaky start might have proved costly with the world champions yet to come. 